today I want to just show you how you can use the DDJ uh, SB3 uh, with the record box because uh, here I got uh, uh, already plugged in so the first thing is uh, you go on your files or finder whatever open it uh, go to your application go down to record box and click uh, control and write on the mouth pad and uh, you go to show contents contents you go to resources open resources because uh, I got a map uh, the DDJ SB3 but record box already got the mapping for the old version of the SB is just the DDJ SB so I gotta copy this uh, command C and uh, I would go anywhere uh, on the desktop or whatever I want I can, you see uh, create a, a file and I, got, I will pass it here so past I have the MIDI file on my folder on the desktop so that's the first thing you do uh, the second thing you do uh, is uh, you go on top on the search button and uh, write audio MIDI setup right here audio MIDI setup because we have to send the MIDI information from the new DDJ SB 3 but uh, record boss didn't provide the file the MIDI file so what you have to do is use the older version because it's the same same thing so what you do you go there you see the device DJ SB3 is already there but here is the tricky part so because it's a MIDI it's gonna recognize the SB3 and the SB3 doesn't have the scratch button. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, jog wheel doesn't work. Uh, most of the stuff, the stuff doesn't work because it's not mapped for this one. But we got the same copy from the SB. So what you do, you click on it and you go on Windows and you click right here at Show MIDI Studio. You click, and here you have some MIDI devices you've already plugged in the past or right now in your uh, your laptop so here is a tricky part so you will see pop up something like this says Pioneer DDJ SB 3 so you will click on it and you will delete the 3 there will, there will be a number 3 here but you don't need the number three. You will just write Pioneer DDJ. Write the whole thing like this. Pioneer DDJ uh, SB like this. As you see. But down here, you see we still have the DDJ SB3. But it doesn't matter. So you have just to change the device name to SB, not SB3. Because we want just the machine to recognize the MIDI. So if you, you put SB3, it doesn't recognize the SB3, but the SB, because it's the same model, so it recognizes the SB, and all the functions are there. So uh, after that, don't touch anything. You close it, and you will see pop up like this, and make sure it's like highlights like this. So then you can close it close it and you come to the MIDI here is where you you MIDI tab you will see pop up like this DJ SB or DJ SB3 so you will come to import the MIDI file now to make the uh, the controller works I mean uh, all the mixer, uh, EQ, effect, pads, jog wheel, now they should work but you have to import the, 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 the MIDI. So you come you will see this. 
do you want to save your current layer editing for example if you want you can say yes and you can save anywhere you want but if you don't want you you just say no and it will bring up to your SB you open your file you go to the desktop where you put your file and you will see a uh, the MIDI file here so you will put and you will open once you open here is the file you have to do nothing cause uh, the controller is already mapped for you it's just plug and go it's already plugged so here is uh, some preview uh, you see I can scratch I can scratch you see everything works I can use even the the scratch pads and you all set you all set thank you for